My name is Dave Clark. I'm currently an AmeriCorps member serving at uh, Davis County Emergency Management. I first served as an AmeriCorps member in 2002. I was assigned uh, then to the Davis County Fire Department. I was hired at grad uh, after that first year and spent 15 years there uh, running the AmeriCorps program and then uh, retired from grad a couple of years ago and decided I still had some more to give. So uh, I, I enrolled as an AmeriCorps member again and, and have been uh, uh, approaching the end of my two years here at Davis County Emergency Management. We try to focus on, uh, on seniors and uh, a lot of the, the volunteers uh, that we work with are, are senior citizens. Uh, we have a uh, CERT program here, Community Emergency Response Team Training. Uh, we have we're, we're approaching a thousand uh, people who've been through this program over the last oh, 15, 18 years uh, uh, here in Davis County, uh, and, and most of those are, uh, are seniors. Uh, there's also a search and rescue uh, program here that's uh, uh, all volunteer, and, and those people have a majority of, of senior citizens in, in, uh, in that group. And uh, we just get a lot of opportunities to, uh, to work with seniors. A lot of people are not familiar with AmeriCorps. It's been around uh, since the mid-90s. People enroll in AmeriCorps, to, they, they sign up uh, to do a year of community service. For that, they, they earn a, a modest living allowance and also an education award. Um, so there, there are some benefits to, uh, to being in the program. People who, who uh, like to volunteer enjoy doing this. Uh, a lot of people do it uh, as a first job. A lot of people do it after retirement. They, they come back and, and uh, want to do some more. Uh, other people find it a way to go from uh, uh, maybe never having worked to working their way into the workforce. You know, spend a year doing, uh, doing service, get a, a history of, uh, of showing up for work and that kind of thing, and, and uh, gain some skills to be able to become employed afterwards. I'm just grateful to grad for having a program like this. They started it up back in uh, uh, 1997. Um, you know, hundreds, well, over 600 people have gone through as members. Uh, also grateful to the uh, service sites where the members serve, like Davis County Emergency Management here, you know, giving uh, opportunities to people to continue to contribute. With Davis County Emergency Management, we have actually um, used AmeriCorps members since 2001, and they have really helped us tremendously. Whenever we choose a member for the program, we actually look at that person's strengths and we try to tailor uh, their responsibilities somewhat with the strengths that, that they have. For instance, uh, one member we had, um, he was an amateur radio operator and had great radio ability. We place our members in nonprofit agencies, uh, faith-based agencies, and public agencies that uh, that deal with our senior citizens throughout our, our seven county grad region. We deal with a lot of socialization, a lot of nutritional benefits and health, and we also have a disaster preparedness component. There's a commitment of 1,700 hours by the member uh, for that 52-week period. Uh, in exchange, they get a living allowance this year. It's uh, going to be $16,000. Uh, there's an educational uh, award for your first two years of service of uh, $6,400 and there is health, uh, health insurance available if you qualify as, as, uh, as, as a child care uh, benefit if you qualify. We ask that you have a caring heart uh, and you want to serve your community because that's what, it, what it's all about, serving your communities, in this case our senior citizens. You can go to www.gradd.com and there's the, the application that's on there for this upcoming year. You can certainly call the office at 270-926-4433 and ask for myself or Mary Ashford, who is my assistant, and we will certainly get you the information you need.